Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the March 2024 reading for the zodiac sign of Capricorn. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as many of the tarot cards. I do have a recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising, just to get a full picture of everything that's going on this month. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post new content. But let's go ahead and get into it. In call number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close. So last, uh, excuse me, in call number one, we're going to take a look at any big items that are coming for the month of March. Column number two, we're going to talk about anything related to money. Column number three, we're going to do a column on love. And our fourth and final column, we're going to do a message for our future self or spirit guides which is almost like advice for the month of March. We'll also do three yes or no questions, a crystal of the month, and a healing note for you, Capricorn. But let's go and get started again, back to column number one, those kind of big items coming for the month of March. We have the summary affirmation card of fortitude. And fortitude's about being able to overcome obstacles. Um, there's nothing that can stand in your way. There's nothing that can stop you going into March. So this is such a, a, a neat card. And it doesn't even really mean that there will be obstacles per se, Capricorn. But again, you're kind of unstoppable. There's nothing that can stop you. There's nothing that can hinder your progress. Let's see, though, what messages we've got here. Let me move our uh, trusty helper, the kitty cat, out of the way. Okay, let's see what messages we've got coming for... March. Okay, so first up we have the, the world card. The world card is the card. It's the last card, the major arcana. It is like learning a lesson. It's things going full circle. Oftentimes it's completion or an end. So something's coming to an end here too. Perhaps you've had a lot of obstacles recently, Capricorn, and this is kind of signifying an end. But I do see some completion. Uh, you see there's a nice shift with the world. That's going to be echoed with the Wheel of Fortune down at the bottom too. But the next card we have is the Ace of Cups. Anytime we have an Ace mm -hmm. card, it's a card of newness. And this is really fitting. Um, so we have the World card, which is an end card. And of course, every time there's an ending, there's new beginnings. Typically, this is baby, relationship, love, marriage, something of that sort. But this could be anything new. So I like to see this a door is closing, something's wrapping up and coming to an end. New doors, new opportunities coming your way. The next card we have is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is a card, again, of good luck, good fortune. So we're indicating a shifting point. In this case, it definitely could be less obstacles coming your way here. Um, typically a good financial shift as well, but you see we have two wheels, so things are definitely turning, things are definitely shifting in the month of March for you here, uh, Capricorn. Let's take a look now at our clarifiers. So first up we have the Ace of Pentacles. Stick it on this Ace vein, so you know I was telling you with the Ace of Cups it's something new. Same holds true with the Ace of Pentacles. This is typically new money, which I already mentioned there could be some nice money shipped with the Wheel of Fortune down there. But this is new job, raise, promotion, investment, income. So perhaps this ending could be a new job as well, new relationship, new job, or this again just could be endings leading to new beginnings. And I definitely hope if some of you have been facing those obstacles, those challenges, it's an ending for that. Up next, we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is a really good card. It has a literal meaning of wishes coming true. So whatever we've been hoping for, it seems like we've made it. We're here. We have the love. We have the money. We have an easier path. Lots and lots of positive shifts. At the bottom, we have the Magician card as well. The Magician is a card of inspired action. Anything is possible with the Magician, which is awesome to see as well. Um... So yeah, anything truly could happen, especially with all the movement, with all the shift that we're seeing in your favor, anything could happen. And the Nine of Cups, uh, probably the best column I've seen in a really, really long time, truthfully, Capricorn. So I'm pretty impressed right off the gate. March is uh, going to be your month, to say the least. 
Okay, now let's move on to our next column and talk about money. I know we've touched on it a little bit already, but a quick affirmation to get us started. Um, so it says, I determine the vibration of the financial abundance I hold. So this column, sorry, I flipped this deck of cards upside down, moving the cat. In this column, we're gonna talk about anything related to money, job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have, whatever you associate with money here. So first up, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a card. Um, there's a little bit of stress, exhaustion, burden happening here. I feel like we're feeling a little overwhelmed, overworked perhaps. Uh, we're just carrying a lot of weight. So I think we do need to assess, perhaps that Ace of Cups is literally a new job for some of you because you're just seeming over where you're at. Again, the Ten of Wands kind of carries a lot of weight here. The next card we have is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is a card of going through a transition. You see the boat is heading in a forward positive uh, forward positive direction, but you see the people are heading, facing away from us. Their heads are hanging low. There's all the swords stuck in the boat. Uh, but I like this because, again, we're moving forward from this point of not feeling so good to a much better place. And we already hinted on some new money cards, so perhaps it's just a new job altogether. At the bottom, we have the Five of Swords. This is a card... Um, there's like some sort of conflict. I feel like there's a person specifically that we're not jiving with, and that really could be adding to the stress, adding to the burdens. Again, there's just a relationship that we're not clicking with at this point. Uh, another thing potentially driving us to transition, driving us to move on to something new. Looking at our clarifiers, first up we have the devil. The devil is a card of overdoing things. It's greed, envy, materialism, obsession. Again, I just feel like we're overworked or underpaid. The vibe is not right. There's issues. We're having issues with people. Um, so this is the abundance of something not so great. It's that overdoing of something. And uh, you can see that through the Ten of Wands as well. The next card we have is the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is like being able to enjoy the things that you're doing. So I feel like as you transition forward, as we move on to something new, you can actually enjoy what you're doing. And right now with the 10 of wands, that surely doesn't seem to be the case. The eight of pentacles is also a card um, of like reaping the benefits of your hard work. So in this new situation, it'll be very clear. Like if I put in the work, this is what I get. So you'll kind of be able to see the value in your work, see uh, that kind of cause and effect, reaping the benefits there. At the bottom card, we have the Sun card. In terms of good cards in the tarot deck, the Sun card is probably the best card. Um, so this is material happiness, joyous outcomes, success. So uh, definitely a much brighter, happier, more positive uh, view on the other side here. So I'm glad to see that a transition is coming for you in terms of career or money. Moving on to our next column now, let's talk about anything related to love. So a quick love message for you. It says surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter into our lives. Let go and all will work out. So in this column we're talking about anything related to love. Family, friends, relationship, children, marriage, whatever you associate with love. Of course, we needed to throw a couple more ace cards in here because you didn't have enough already, uh, Capricorn. So first up, we have the Ace of Swords. This is getting clarity on something. Again, the ace card is newness. But I very specifically feel like we're getting information. We're getting clarity on something. The next card we have is the Ace of Wands. Again, any time of an ace card, it's a card of newness. But with this information, with this clarity, we're inspired to take action. We want to go do something. This has motivated us to do something new. <clears throat> and then at the bottom, we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is a card, again, of putting in the hard work. I feel like now we have our new focus and we're ready to put on the work and like I mentioned with the Eight of Pentacles, we're going to reap the benefits of it here. So we got the information we need, we're inspired, and now we're going to get to work. We're going to put the work in so we can get what we want here. Looking at our clarifiers, first up we have the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card 
This could be like rivalry, challenges, obstacle. Another meaning though of the Five of Wands is like sport. It's taking action, it's doing, it's moving. So again, with the Ace of Swords, I feel like we're getting information and it's prompting action. It's sending us forward. The next card we have is the Strength card. The Strength card is really more of a Courage card than it is a Strength card. So we have to have the courage now to go take action. We got the clarity we need. We're feeling inspired. This is the courage to actually go and do. And at the bottom here, we have the five of swords. I would say this is what we're moving past. You know, we had the five of swords here earlier too. Um, but again, I feel like we've gotten clarity. We have the information we need and now we can move forward. We're going to move on to something we're actually enjoying, something we're actually happy with, and something that's going to be worthwhile for our time here. Alrighty, now let's take a look at our fourth and final column, which is a message from our future self or spirit guides. We have the summary affirmation card of friction. This goes one of two ways. And there's kind of no in between here. So one of the meanings of this card is friction in terms of conflict or there being some sort of issue. The other meaning of the friction card is movement. You know, when things start to move, there's friction, there's heat. So it's an indicator of things moving for you here, Capricorn. But let's see what messages I can give you here. All right, so we need to get things moving is what this column is saying. Mind you, again, this is like advice to take into the month of March from your future self or spirit guides. So at first we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card of patience, waiting, delayed success. You see this person's planted their pentacles and now they're waiting for them to grow, Capricorn. So we need to stop waiting and start to move forward. Looking at our next card, we have the Eight of Pentacle, or excuse me, the Eight of Swords. This is a card of like self-imposed restriction. So there's something holding us back and we need to address and figure out what it is and address it because we have to start moving forward. You see this person's blindfolded, their arms are bound down, but then they have all these swords behind them. So they can very easily kind of wiggle back and cut themselves free. But that's what we need to do. We need to wiggle back and cut ourselves free. We need to move past the waiting, past the delay, and actually get in motion, get in movement. At the bottom, we have the, the, the moon card. This is a card of voluntary change. So again, we have to do something that takes us from this patience, from this waiting, to actually moving. Let's see what our clarifiers say here. What other information I could give you? Uh, first, we have the Two of Cups. Typically, this is a love card. Maybe the thing that we're getting moving on is love related. But keep in mind, anytime we have two of something on a card, this can be a decision. So again, we have to take make a change. We have to make a decision. We have to somehow go from this waiting place into this stage of movement. Up next, we have the Queen of Wands. This is very confident, very self-assured. Deep down, I feel like you know what you need to do here, Capricorn. So you just got to do it. We can't keep holding ourselves back here. At the bottom, we have the Star card. This is Renewal. And again, we're reviving this. We're renewing this. We're moving this forward after a period of waiting. Okay. At this time, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use our Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, you can pause the video here and think of them. But question number one, we have the Jack of Clubs, the number 45 card. That's going to be a yes. Question number two, we have the 10 of Spades, number 30 card. That's going to be a no. And question number three, we have the Three of Spades, number 10 card. That's going to be a yes. So yes, no, yes there for you. We're also going to pull a card from our Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of March. <laughs> I had to think about where we were there for a second, Capricorn. We have Amber, which is good for creativity, warmth. It really gives you a nice sense of candor, happiness, and joy of life. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Capricorn, your Healing Note says... We don't know how strong we are until being strong is the only choice we have. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates with you. 
Again, subscriptions help me greatly and you'll be notified when I post new content. Also, I did include my Venmo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much Capricorn and I hope you have a wonderful March.